I, I did walk into a little bit of chaos, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. This is this is Greg's first time doing the what are they called? Turtle pops. Mm -hmm. Turtle pops. She set us up here. We come in at six thirty. We're chilling by ourselves for yeah. two hours. <laughs> I know where the napkins are. I'm not worried. <laughs> I'll go get them for her though. It's okay. <laughs> so this is too much, too much caramel. That's some um, probably twice as much as what we're looking <laughs> for. Maybe. Um, this one looks looks pretty good. Ooh. Okay. That yeah. was the last one I did. I didn't have enough time to come get some shots of what he did beforehand to see yeah. like, the difference. So now we get to see the real way to do it. Sorry, well, Greg, I'm I've not only, I've, also, no, okay. I've also only done this once before. I didn't want to puncture, yeah, I didn't you didn't want to puncture the bags? marshmallow. I didn't know I we did could puncture two the bags. marshmallow. Okay, so you had like a little bit of time to like kind of get like a, yes. a flow. So what I did was kind of dip. Oh, the caramel's cold. Yeah. Oh, so you do side to side like that. And then you kind of knock it off. So it's not a fast process by any means. Um. Or could it be faster if that was a little bit cool, a little bit hotter? Maybe if it was a little bit hotter. And then you kind of do that. And that is the caramel. Okay. And that's one down. Yeah. One so. down. So it's okay if there's like little spots that don't. Have yeah, because um, Steve's gonna cover that in chocolate, okay. so it's okay that it's a little bit exposed on okay. the top. But yeah, yeah. Did you want to try one? Yeah. 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 If it was a little bit runnier, maybe, but. Um, Is there a temperature that you aim for, Taylor? That you remember? Yeah, and it was at like 170 when I checked it. So. All right, guys. That's all right, Greg. I know. Yeah, bro, no. That's the only thing where, like, working in a smaller section of caramel, you're going to have to work harder to maintain the temperature. Uh oh. No, that's good. Like, that's okay. Work. That is fine. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so even because with that also, little bit. Yeah, even that little bit being exposed is fine because it's going to get covered in chocolate, so they're not going to be stale. And also, this is so hot that it's also melting the marshmallow a little bit, too. Right. So right. it's just like. I don't win know. Win. You just gotta play around with it for a little bit. That's why I keep the paper towels around too to like take off the excess caramel because oh, like okay. it gets to be like a caramel melted just marshmallow. To, like mixture. as you can see, after one, it already looks like that. So it's yeah. like if you've never wiped it, it would get too much. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's All right, it. Well, thank you, Taylor. That was definitely. Thanks, Taylor. <laughs> no problem. You're doing great, Greg. Greg. Okay. So Greg, you've never done it before, though, right? No. So you just went in blind. Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> no, that makes sense. Yeah. So how often do you think you're gonna have to warm up the caramel then? Is it like a- Tons. I don't really? I don't know. Let's see how hot it is first so I don't just melt the marshmallow. 191, okay. Is that good? Yeah. I already forgot the temperature. That they said to keep. 200 to 190, 190 to 200. Oh yeah, that does go good. Wow, it's crazy what the temperature will do. Temperature is everything at this show. It's crazy, I didn't really think it would be that big of a deal. Dang, that was a good one. Woo! Yeah. We're doing it. That was good. We're doing it. Okay, so what does this whole process have to do? So I know that you have so, to cover all these, and yeah. then it goes where? I'm dipping it in caramel, and then they're going to be put in the fridge for a little while. And after probably about an hour, hour and a half, Steve's going to take them out and hand cover them uh, in milk chocolate. Dark chocolate? Milk. Milk chocolate. Oh, he doesn't put it through the enrober? Nope. I guess you couldn't the caramel, right? What are you saying? I was asking if you could do it in the enrober or not. Oh, uh, no. No. Caramel Cornless. is a tricky one. And we also need to, like, fully coat them in nuts after. So it would be oh, really, okay. really, like, we put them on a stick and then, like, roll it in nuts. Oh, okay. So I, it would just be... That it's would not, be, it's yeah, not a job for the Enrover. Okay, okay. So my, I thought it was going in the Enrover. Right? No, it's not going in the Enrover. Okay, cool. Yeah. So your job is pretty much just this all day? This, and then I'm going to be doing a cut caramel for the dark Enrover. Oh, nice. Make little caramel squares. Everyone's favorite, you know? Yeah. You ever think about it when you see it like, in an assorted box? It's always I everyone's like, favorite. Yeah, everyone's always like, like well, are they going to come the caramels? Left? Yeah. <laughs> Get the hang of it now. Yeah. And then like, then you can start doing rows of it instead yeah. of blobs, but. 
<laughs> do rows of it instead of blobs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> here, I'm not here to patronize. <laughs> <laughs> I just I'm like here. I just like messing with yeah, you, Scott. That's all. <laughs> Cooper, realistically, how often is he gonna have to heat the caramel back up? Pretty frequently, you think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. It's like I think something that at home uh you guys doing stuff that we do here is like why it's so challenging for you is because we do it in a large quantity so like for the caramel like when we would do it all day like for this i guess it kind of contaminates it so we don't want to put it into like the whole kettle of like all the other caramel we have but you like in bigger amounts of stuff like it just like works a little bit easier like it stays hotter for longer because there's more heat retention going on and all that stuff so like him he's gonna probably have to go back and forth to that microwave (laughs) like a fair amount while he's going through these but yeah yeah i can already tell that i'm probably gonna have to go after every like probably 10 or so marshmallows throw it in for like a minute or two you should honestly just park right next to the microwave (laughs) <laughs> I, I need my steps Honestly, you know, let's just take that microwave off the top of the fridge Bring it right here next to you And there's an outlet Eh I know, I'm just, I was mostly kidding But now that I think about it, like I said it out loud That sounds like a good idea I need my steps, Scott I need to okay. get my steps for the day I'm just kidding, I don't, I don't count my steps I don't count my steps I don't even have to put it in that much Watch, now that I showed them that I didn't put it in that much It's gonna fall off Yep, here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> yep, here it goes. It just sinks. It's like, oh. Oh, there it went. No, it made it. Five more hours of this. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Flat. That was a good go. one. Oh, that was a really good that one. That was a really good one. Just for that, subscribe to the channel and get yeah. us to a million subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Subscribe, like, subscribe, favorite. Uh, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, TikTok. Uh, <laughs> Google. Tell your grandma LinkedIn. about Greg. Don't yeah. forget to tell your grandma about me, please. <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> What's, What's up? This? Oh, it's a pretzel rod. Wow. And some uh, peanut butter of the whipped variety. Nice. You saw Greg in the background warming up his car. <laughs> Look at that. I'm still doing it. He's just going to be doing it all day. All yeah. day. <laughs> Till he- until it gets through with that. So basically the game plan here is like, it kind of comes up with a lot of peanut butter and this is for a snack club later on. So. Are you doing the whole, the whole uh, yeah, start to finish today. Start to finish. There's only three bags of pretzel rods, so it's really not too many of them, but we don't, we don't even really know how well they're gonna do selling in terms of like in the summer. Cause right. Terry normally doesn't make as many of these for the summer, but. Huh. Um, I think they're gonna sell well because they're delicious, and they're your favorite. Even if, they, even if they're, the, they're they don't sell well, Greg will buy them. Yeah, even, I'm making these all for Greg. Is what I'm thinking in my head. Right <laughs> pretty, now. pretty much. I'm just doing him a favor. And then, how long do you have to let them sit in the fridge for after you chuck peanut butter cover so, them? So, realistically, the um, this like whipped peanut butter never really hardens in the fridge it just kind of cools itself down and has like a split second where it's nicer to use so once i'm done with this tray i have like three in the fridge already this is probably the last one this is the last bag at least of these so once i get done with this bag the ones in the fridge that have been sitting there like the first ones i did i'm probably just gonna take them out and get myself like a puddle of chocolate and just start working on it because it doesn't really get yeah it doesn't really get much easier if you let them wait too much longer in the fridge peanut butter like by itself this already lost its like emulsification or whatever you call it by us like whipping whipping it it, so it doesn't get that texture back like it's never gonna be firm again it's always (laughs) just gonna be kind of loose but it's definitely a beautiful thing but we you just gotta work around it so yeah, that's true. Just don't gotta really wait for it. Kind of rush the process a little bit. And I also see bark in the background. Did you do that this morning? I did do that this morning. That's uh, dark chocolate and potato chips, which is wow. just wonderful. Yeah, got it done early in the morning so that Steve later in the day, someone's gonna pull it up and he's making uh, peanut butter cookie bark. Ooh, so we're just trying to Steve, keep that's what you're doing? Yes. Peanut butter cookie bark. Yep. 
it's an amazing thing. That We're seems just, incredible. Can't honestly, make enough. the bark is so good here, and it's one of the more sustainable things that we have. Like, and it's it's easy for us, and you can just kind of make it. It sits there for two hours, two and a half hours. Right. While you do something else, you pick it up. Yeah make another one and then like you just kind of we can get about three done in a day and that's a lot of candy for you guys which is awesome that is a lot. and it's really hard for us to cover potato chips on the enrober but that is the same thing over there and that's even dark chocolate which we don't do on the enrober so if you want peanut butter or if you want uh dark chocolate and potato chips you gotta go for the bark yeah it's your only option actually yeah and it's really yummy i think it's kind of underrated the milk chips are very popular, but the dark chips are just as yummy. I have quite a dead arm from holding pretzels above <laughs> this I was gonna say. jar all morning, but building <laughs> myself up. Take a little break here and there. They're coming out good, though. Yeah. They, they're, everything today seems just like a slow process, I feel like. It's, it's, not, it's all that can be rushed. Or it's all stages, and there's a lot... There's a lot of stages. There's like three stages with this one. There's stages with the turtles. Like the bark needs to just sit there and cool itself off. So yeah. Yeah, there's a there's definitely a lot of stages to everything. The turtle pops. They have a lot of stages. Yep. The, everything here is just a little. It's the first stage, and then it sits in the fridge for a bit, and then you take it out, and you do the next, and then it all has to get packed up too which is like a whole it's crazy it's quite an operation we got going on here. i know exactly because i think about it too much and i start to go crazy i'm like man i just gotta focus on this one pretzel <laughs> rod and dip it into the peanut butter so i don't stress myself out over everything that needs to get done when you run a business you're always looking for ways to save time especially since labor is now such a precious commodity i highly recommend ShipStation as a huge time and money saver it frees you up from repetitive tasks so you can spend time doing what you really need to do important things like focusing on your customers honing your marketing strategy and developing new products it works with all e-commerce platforms shopify amazon etsy and more it automates all the mundane shipping tasks and funnels your orders into one simple interface and makes shipping easy by tracking orders in real time. And it works with all carriers on all platforms. ShipStation makes it so easy to compare delivery rates and times so you can rest assured that you are getting the best deal. I should also mention that ShipStation gives you the rates usually reserved for Fortune 500 companies, which I'm sure you are well on your way to becoming. Um, with prices on everything from supplies to fuel to labor going sky high, you really need ShipStation to save you money. And ShipStation is not just for US-based businesses, it's also um, very popular in Canada, the UK, and Australia. In fact, 98% of businesses that use ShipStation for one year continue doing it for the entire time they are in business. So say goodbye to all those shipping tasks. ShipStation can do it better and faster, so sign up for a free 60-day trial today at ShipStation.com slash Hercules and start saving money and time on every shipment. ShipStation makes ship happen. Thank you, ShipStation, for sponsoring this video. So now you got to the next part. Yeah, You did it. Got my cold pretzel rods at this point and a puddle of chocolate. And you just kind of go over it, give it a nice little coating, spin it, try and get it all, all covered. It doesn't have to be crazy. I kind of knock off a little bit until it's like that little hump of chocolate goes off. Maybe even like kind of run my fingers over it. Yeah, bring it over to the potato chips because you don't want like too much of it to come off in here so then it makes a mess. Pat it down, lift it up, bring it over. Look at that. And then dries, and that's delicious. That's the process right there. That's the process. At least say, ask Greg, you can't just have, you can't just have one. No. No, you have to have two. Like, I tried to eat, <laughs> I tried to eat one in my last pack. I tried to eat one yesterday and I ate it and I sat down and was like, <laughs> we pack them in two for a reason yeah. because they're they're meant to be eaten they're at the same time. Eat. Yes. All the things that I've done so far, something that you could sit at your kitchen table and just do, put in yeah. your fridge, like yeah. just clear your fridge out a little bit, make yourself some room. 
I guess the, the covering is a little bit different, but at that point, when you're not too worried about like cross contamination of peanut butter in a big kettle, you could literally just like dip Dips, these yeah. into chocolate, and then that's, and that's no right, issue. We do get some comments every now and then, are like, "Come on, like it could be so much easier if you just dip that it, right in the kettle." You're not like, wrong. Well, you're definitely not wrong, well, but like for cross contamination and the fact that like literally that our whole kettle. Taylor here is allergic to peanuts, so it's like I couldn't even. We, we, that's like right. t it's yeah. close to home, so we, yeah. we're good about it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And there, yeah, there's and just hope, no way we're gonna do yeah, that. Yeah, and so. honestly, it's a fun art to hand cover things. So, and it's a very cool like skill to have too. Like, yeah. not a lot of people can say that they are pretty well versed in chocolate covering, like hand covering <laughs> stuff. No, I don't know anybody that I, <laughs> other than you and Greg and Steve. Yeah, we got quite a an interesting skill set for sure. It's a lot harder than it looks. Like, like, yeah, ask Greg. Greg, the first yeah. time the first time that you ever tried hand pouring, I'm yeah. pretty sure we have it on video because it was for. Uh, it was crazy hard. Steve and, and Cooper have done most of the uh, the hand pouring, so I'm kind of just like painting this right now. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah. then the next time when Steve actually like taught me how to do it, it was like, wow, this is actually a lot easier than it, like, right. it's not yeah. easy by right. any means. It's not easy. But like, once you get taught by someone who knows how to do it, yeah. it's like, oh, okay. This is why this is how This is how it works. This is how it works. This is why it wasn't like, you have to get your hand perfect. Like you have the little flick that Steve yeah. does, yeah. all that, like it's. You have to if you get everything if you get one thing down the rest falls into place so yeah that's true your hand is a tool like always my hand my fingers are shut like very very tight i'm like using it as a shovel almost and then it's like yeah. the way you it's just the way you move your wrist the way and you stuff move your wrist. it's a lot of wrist work and it's just it's awkward yeah super to awkward start, yeah feels like you're playing in like mud you're like what <laughs> am i doing right now like <laughs> why am i doing this it's like rite of passage to get into mm. being a candy maker is to stick That's your true. hand in a kettle and just like see if you can make it over to a table without getting it all over the floor <laughs> And moving true. it moving it from the kettle to the table once you can do it without spilling any the satisfaction from getting that down is like wow and then you awesome. can start doing like you can do a little twist that steve does yeah that one's cool yeah that's sick you can get the little twist yeah steve straight like flicks the chocolate out and like it's somehow he flicks it out and it just comes back like a rubber band. Like, yeah. I don't know how, he's like a chocolate bender. Like, he just does whatever chocolate he wants bender. With it. That's 40 years in it, though, yeah. and it makes sense, man. Like, he is really good at what he does. And it's fun. Like, it is actually yeah. very it's, fun. Yeah. So putting your hand in a kettle full of chocolate, that's a blast. It smells good. It's warm. Like, it's cold in here today, but, like, I, I'm, like, warm because I keep sticking my hand in yeah. a kettle of, like, 90-degree chocolate. Yeah, that's true. It's pretty nice. It's a good little system we got going on. So you only have four trays of this to do today? Yeah, but they obviously, like, four that... Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten probably fit on one tray here, right. and I fit a lot of them. Yeah, that's true. It'll end up being more trays by the end. But yeah, yeah. Four trays of like just the pretzels yeah. and peanut butter. Yeah. It's definitely a fun process. Gotta heat up my caramel again. <laughs> it's been a process. It's yeah. Been a process. <laughs> He's been back and forth. He's getting his steps in He's for sure, just around. like he asked for. He says, I need my steps today. We're like, okay, Greg. All right, well, you'll get them. Kind of regret, kind of regret saying that I was going to get my steps in. <laughs> my legs hurt. Steve, so I caught you right before you did the bark. Yeah, good catch. <laughs> okay, ready? I was born ready. Okay. That looks good, doesn't it? Nope. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sick. Yes, it looks good. It looks great. <laughs> yeah, sure it does. <laughs> now we know you're Whatever you inside. say. <laughs> Cooper in the background still doing. <laughs> still out here. Still dipping. Still, <laughs> still covering. Still covering. <laughs> still pretzeling. Okay, ready? Whoa! I meant to do that. Yeah, I think <laughs> kind of scared me. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Get it all mixed up. Get it all covered. Then they'll spread it out. 
spread it out, and then everyone's favorite part, we're going to make sure to get the cut. Yeah. Yeah, it's your favorite, too. Yeah, everybody likes that. Well, this has a lot of crunch with all the cookies in there. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of crunch. <laughs> a lot of cookies. You definitely will not miss cutting. <coughs> a lot of chocolate going on here. Chocolate there. Chocolate there with Cooper. It's chocolate day today. Chocolate day. It's been hard candy like crazy for the past couple of days because we're trying to keep up with everybody. But Now it's chocolate time. And in, in keeping up with our hard candy, we lost track of the chocolate, so yeah. here we are. We're back with the chocolate. Yeah, it's a it circle. Good. We did a vicious circle. Yeah. It looks great, doesn't it? It does look good. All right. You're a master. Okay. And then you can go right into the cutting. Yep, yeah, I'm going to do the cutting. But think about it. Three-day weekend. Oh, yeah, this is going to be great. Who's excited? I am. You got any plans? Yeah, I'm gonna make beer. You're gonna make beer? <laughs> yeah. Don't you get to? You already made some that's gonna be ready for this weekend. I'm stocking isn't it? up. Yeah. <laughs> so he's been heavy into making the making his beer lately. Yeah, he got a little more time than usual. Yeah, you've been having fun with it though. Yeah, this is great. You're raving about how much fun you've been having. Yeah, I wish you had more time to do it. It's fun to make. I I, I enjoy making it. It's, interesting. I still have to try some. This weekend. Okay. Alright. I hope so. I made an IPA and a summer ale. They'll be ready this weekend. Wow. Who are you going to have taste test all that? Um, we're having a little family party uh, on Friday night, so. So everybody yeah, come over. Whoever's there, we'll try it. Yeah, they all like my beer. All right, I'm coming over. Okay, come on over. Okay. Amazing work. Oh, Cooper, what would you rate that cutting? Uh, 11 out of 10. <laughs> I also give you an 11 out of 10. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, her point is for the, the dad noises. Yeah. I love the dad noises. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a little grunts and stuff after yeah. everyone. Yeah. yeah. After yeah. everyone. I can't help but hear it. <laughs> it's my favorite thing ever. Put I didn't the fan know I made on. noises. It's so funny. <laughs> I didn't know I made noises. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I mostly hear it when you pour the chocolate onto the stuff. That's when I hear it. Just watch it back now. <laughs> and <laughs> and listen. <laughs> and listen because it gives me life. <laughs> my, my we got chocolate. your station all set up. And my turtle pop. Chocolate. And marshmallow already covered in caramel. Yep. There we go. Oh, you do do the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Do do. Do do. <laughs> you so much. Know, like so it's always Cooper. It's always. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny. How many trays of this do you have to do? Three. Three? Yep. Not bad. No. You get that done in what? Five seconds? Yeah, no time at all. It took well, me four hours to cover those three trays. Get you're it done not in five like seconds. Steve, <laughs> It would take Steve four seconds to do to cover them in time. But it took Steve forty years to get to this point. Yeah. True. Huh. Huh. Like you're right. 
<laughs> tell, me tell me I'm strong and I'll do anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Greg, you're very strong. You want to come home and move all the furniture around in my house? Yes. Yeah. You yeah. smell very strong. You oh. smell <laughs> I got new deodorant the other day, so I know <laughs> I don't. <laughs> no, it smells good. It smells strong. <laughs> Backstory on that, so people know. Because um, <laughs> now we're just now, weird. now we now just sound like some weirdos. Yeah, yeah now we're sounding like crazy. Uh, a little bit ago. Steve said it feels really warm in here, and I thought he said it smells really warm in here, and I was like, I know, right? It does smell really warm in here, and it turns out he did not say that, and I thought someone else says that it smells warm, but apparently it's still only me that says that. Yeah, so he, he let the cat out of the bag that yeah. he can smell warm. That I, sm that I smell <laughs> the warmth and the cold. My nose is able to tell temperature. Yeah, so that's what the backstory. What you didn't that's know about us at yeah. Hercules. Yeah. <laughs> Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, <laughs> for real. Now, what are they covered in? What are these? These are... Uh, Pecans, ground it up. Ground it up. Pecans or pecans. Pecan. <laughs> pecan. However you want to say. It. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It's very debatable candy. It's a pecan. A pecan. Oh, candy caramel is debate. There's the pecan yeah. debate. Candy's controversial. What are you? What, yeah. what are you? I'm caramel and pecan, like I just said. Yeah. <laughs> like I honestly, I didn't even hear. It. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty much opposite of everyone else in this room. Not so me. I'm, I'm out now. Oh. I'm caramel and pecan. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm pecan for sure. Oh, you're pecan, but you are a caramel. You are I say both. Yeah. And yeah. I don't they're two different know. things. They're two different you, things. You. There's caramel sauce. Caramel no, no, no. It's caramel sauce, sauce and caramels. Like, uh, these are caramels. And then there's, caramels. these are caramels, you know. Yep. And then if this was liquid, it'd be caramel sauce. You know okay. what I'm saying? I'm sure someone in the comments is gonna tell me Are I'm wrong. Okay? So <laughs> it's fine. You guys gotta have some you guys gotta have some fun with your words. Caramel and pecan, you know what I'm saying? Put some effort into those syllables. You know, once I did say tomato on accident. <laughs> like <laughs> He says ooh. And I still haven't lived it down. Yeah, I wouldn't I feel like I get why they do say tomato tomato, because I just did that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> potato potato. <laughs> Can I get a side of mashed potatoes? <laughs> you can leave. That's what you can do. Mashed potatoes. But I'd like some mashed potatoes. <laughs> That's so funny. Gosh, I'm so funny some days. You know I've done myself today, huh? <laughs> There's no bad. Hype yourself up. There's no Yeah, bad. bro. Yes. Scott, just a little bit ago, you were like, I'm going insane, and now you're like, dude, I'm Maybe the greatest. Maybe he's just gone insane. Maybe, Maybe I, I actually, gone actually <laughs> have gone insane. I think there's yeah, actually I actually am, though. Oh, so ouch. Insane. Maybe. Insane Scott is just really egotistical. Oh, yeah, thank Scott, you. I think okay. you're hilarious. As long as you're happy. No, no. Oh, the confidence is gone. I lost it. He's, he's happy. happy. <laughs> he's happy. That's all that matters. Yeah, I'm happy. Are you happy, Steve? Yes. 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 <laughs> Don't ask me again. <laughs> yes, right. I am. Yes. Gosh. Is everyone in this room happy? Yes. yes. Definitely. Okay. Yes. Very. Very happy. That's good. Greg, you yeah. didn't answer. Yeah. I'm always, I'm always happy, man. All right. It's always a good day. That's good. That's good. For the people that don't know, the first one that you packaged was perfectly on weight. It was. Yeah. I was pretty I mean, happy. It so. didn't. Ha hasn't happened again though. Has it, it actually happened a few times. I just didn't want to wow. jinx myself more. So. Okay. Okay. All right. So all around, it is a good day. This is all of it. Welcome to MTV Cribs. <laughs> <laughs> I know you probably want to see what's in our fridge, but. It's just like what you'd expect. <laughs> More candy. More candy. More candy. <laughs> A Scott TV Cribs. Scott TV. STV Cribs. STV. <laughs> kind of cool. Kind of sounds cool. <laughs> what does MTV stand for? Music television. Cool. When I used to have music on. You're like, oh, everybody. Knew Everyone that? knew it. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep. I'll go back to my hole where I guess I don't come out of. It's okay. Did you know what MTV stood for? Yeah. MTV you was, MTV was <laughs> made. I like, believe you. Yeah. 
<laughs> you were wow. yeah, yeah, and they always their their um, emblem was this. Uh, it's right here on my foot. <laughs> It's on my foot. You don't even. You're the one that's wrapping the brand the no. most right now, and you don't even know no, what it, it, it means. Stop it's an it. Abuse. Cooper, Maybe you're making it worse. Yeah. <laughs> Rubbing the salt the in. Astronaut one. Yeah, there astronaut used to be their suit. old logo. What did you just say? The astronaut suit is uh, MTV oh, yeah. emblem or their they used symbol to be their old logo or something. Yeah. yeah. It's, I used to watch it's it when they had rocks, real videos on. People <laughs> <laughs> were asking for charm checks. That's his charm, and he doesn't even know what it stands for. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, All right. <laughs> I've had a great time. <laughs> Scott is blank. Scott is blankly staring at me in the camera right now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being a good sport today, Scott. All right, guys. Well, you make our job more fun. You make it more fun here. That's all. Potato, potato. See? <laughs> Mashed potatoes. Mashed pecan, potatoes. Pecan, Mashed pecan, pecan, pecan. Pecan. You, You're saying the same and word. And it all comes yeah, pecan, pe pecan, and pecan. Pecan. <laughs> pecan, pecan. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks okay. for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell button for more updates. It's been us here at Hercules Candies. <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna use off. this yeah, for the <laughs> outro or not. <laughs> it's, it's definitely usable, it's good. Go, oh, word. <laughs>